today's uh, Celtics and Lakers, man. I guess this is a two-part question for you. Uh, first part is, is, is this it for the Celtics? Is, is this the team? Is this the championship team that uh, Celtics fans have been waiting for? Or are they no. one significant <laughs> Chris Das Porzingis injury away? Like, well, how do you see it? I know well, here's how we have here's what 21 we, game two. Uh, the moment they gave Jalen Brown over $300 million, we need to stop talking about, is this it for Boston? What Boston said to you is, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are going to be here for years to come. This is it. Because neither is over the age of 27. They got a decade left in their game. They ain't going anywhere. And so, because you know if they gave Jalen Brown that money, just add a dozen of 50 million to Jason Tatum's contract. Just, just add it. It, it. He's not going anywhere. And so because that's your reality, you know what? Porzingis may end up going someplace. Uh, uh, Derek White and, and, and Horford and those brothers may be, may be going someplace. But Tatum and Brown are here to stay. And as long as Tatum and Brown are here to stay, the Boston Celtics are going to contend. Now, what does, does that mean that they're going to win a championship this year? No, but I'll tell you this much. I got them as my favorite. I'll tell you that. Um, there is no team in the NBA that should be able to definitively look at the Boston Celtics and say, we're better. No one wanted. With Brown and Tatum, with Drew Holiday at the point, with Porzingis replacing Marcus Smart, who I miss dearly, uh, but nevertheless, he ain't seven three, he ain't a seven three shot blocker with a three point shot. Uh, with Al Horford still there, with Derek White still there, um, and I like Pritchard, believe it or not. I like I like his moxie, his guts coming off the bench and giving you the little bit he can give you. Um, I like that. I don't think there's any excuse for the Boston Celtics to play second fiddle to anybody this season. Could they lose to a Denver? Sure. Could 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 they lose to a Milwaukee or a Philly gets an additional piece? It's possible, but nobody should look at the Boston Celtics and view them as an underdog against any single opponent in the NBA outside of the reigning defending champion Denver Nuggets. And the only reason you would do that is because their chemistry is intact and Boston is trying to figure theirs out.